Hi guys, it is Sunday and it is around 6 p.m. And today, my gorgeous, where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Adam's return. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> nice to be back. Yeah, nice to be back. Adam has returned from Vegas. Long old trip, wasn't it? Yeah, it was long. But you're back earlier than I expected, which is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everyone that I told at work was like, there is no way Adam's gone to Vegas for a work oh, trip. Oh, it was all work. Yeah. For a work trip. But yeah, Adam guarantees me that it definitely was for work. So we have been living in this apartment for how many months now? Almost half a year. How crazy is that? But today was the first day that we decided to look around the room and ask ourselves what could be done better. So we have decided to have a right old shake up. So this is the new living room now it might not look that different but oh my goodness the space has opened up so much more so originally if anyone who can't remember or hasn't ever seen it that sofa was in the middle of the room like just overlapping the end of this green and blue rug and then the dining table was on the back wall underneath that light. So we don't use that light and we don't also use these lights anymore because we were absolutely done with knocking our heads on them. So we've actually removed the bulbs. Yeah, the space just feels so much bigger and better. And I don't know why we didn't do this before. So yeah, I am feeling really cozy, I'm not gonna lie. And of course, I'm just really happy to have Adam back. So the plan of action for dinner this evening, we're gonna go old school and we're gonna have some egg sandwiches for dinner. I feel like you're someone who either likes egg sandwiches or the idea of it makes you vom. But um, yeah, so Adam is in there getting it ready. Would you reckon five minutes? Yeah. Now that I've moved my furniture around, I don't know where to put the camera, but we'll stick it here. Interestingly, when Adam goes away for work, we literally don't speak at all. It didn't help that this time around, he was 11 hours ahead of me. So of course, when I was waking up, he was going to sleep and vice versa. Yeah, I'm happy he's home. So I think what we're gonna do is eat these egg sandwiches, take Bonnie out for her evening walk, and then I plan to come home, take the very little bits of remaining makeup off my face and I'm gonna do a face mask tonight. So yeah, that is the plan. It is quarter past six on a Monday evening and I've just come home from work and Adam has lovingly made me a gorgeous dinner and we are now heading off to the beach. So amazing, amazing news. There are beaches in Dubai that have now opened up 24 hours a day so that we can enjoy finally a sunrise dip, but also an evening dip as well. So the temperature is really, really hotting up. I will not lie to you. So currently, as I said, quarter past six, Monday, towards the end of May, it's 32 degrees. So I've just got my little leggings on, big t-shirt, my cap. Of course, I'm protecting the skin. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna take a towel and we're just gonna get out of here um, and enjoy a little date night together. So yeah. You enjoying the beach? Ah, <laughs> uh, evening everyone. So Adam and I never made it to the beach. We're actually in Al Sapa Park now. The camera is so blurry. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah, we're in Al Sapa Park and it's actually looks really light on the screen, but we are almost in pitch black. Um, basically we were cycling along to the beach but we actually got pulled over by the police <laughs> because because we weren't wearing helmets as we were cycling along and I don't know if it has always been a rule I guess it makes sense that it would have always been a rule but um, maybe it was never enforced 
previously. They actually did say that we could just carry on for today, like just cycling with no helmet on, um, just because they were very kind to us. But they've said like, if they ever see us again, <laughs> then we would get a fine, which obviously is completely fair enough. You know, I do understand the need to be wearing a helmet. I know that if you fall off, there is a massive chance of getting brain damage. So um, I do really, really res respect that and understand that. Um, but yeah, but just because of that, I just didn't want to keep cycling. I just think, you know, when someone's almost given you a heads up that something bad could happen. Adam was like, yeah, he's given us a free pass. Let's just carry on going to the beach. But I was like, oh no, I don't want to because just knowing me and knowing my luck, I will actually fall off my bike now, even though I'm very steady on a bike. Um, so we've decided that we are going to buy helmets ASAP and yeah because we just love 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 cycling to the beach we just love getting out but it has led us on to this really wonderful discovery of our safa park and we knew it existed we just never had come into it and honestly it's gorgeous it's like a big hyde park vibe um not as big as hyde park but there's a restaurant here and there's lots of people having barbecues and things there's people working out and just running and it just feels like a very active space so yeah we are yeah, really quite happy with this discovery. Um, it's hard to show you though how dark everything is because my camera, even though it is not good on the old blur front, it is good for picking up light. I, I guess you can tell that it's like dusky, um, but it is really, really dark out. So yeah, here's baby. What was your experience of getting pulled over? By the popo. I don't know, I thought they were gonna fine us to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> but they were kind, weren't they? They were so kind. <laughs> they were so nice. And also, they said that they really liked our accents as well. So that was nice. That was very kind. I started speaking more British after that. <laughs> yeah. Why, what did you say? Cheers. Cheers. Something that a lot of people <laughs> quote here when they're talking to a British person is I want a bottle of water. <laughs> bottle of water. A bottle of water. Everyone always says that to us. And what's the other thing that they say? What's the other thing? Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Oh, particularly if you go to anywhere that's like a marketplace, they always say it. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're just discovering new sites. I look absolutely <laughs> atrocious. I am so sorry. Is that how the I look? The lighting's good, isn't it? It's dark here. Yeah, I was just saying that. I was literally just saying, wasn't I, guys? That it looks light on camera, but we're walking in pitch black. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit sweaty, I'm not gonna lie. Helmets will be on their way, and for anyone who is watching, who is going to move to Dubai, or is living here, and you are also a regular cycle, cycler, re regular cycler, then I would recommend getting a helmet, because otherwise you might have a cheeky fine on its way. Um, and it does make sense. It does make sense. It keeps the community safe and whatnot, doesn't it? Off to go and sweat some more, and um, peace and love. Good morning, guys. So I have just finished air wrapping my hair. I actually ran out of clips, so I had to undo this bunch. Yesterday morning, got up really early and went to the Dubai Creek Golf Club because Adam and my brother-in-law wanted to go and hit some balls at the range. And I decided to give it a go as well, even though I'm terrible. And I just, I'm just really terrible. <laughs> terrible at the sport i'm not gonna lie so i gave up pretty quickly and instead my sister and i just went and had a breakfast <laughs> and now i'm gonna film a video all about the apps that i would recommend if you're living in dubai or actually even visiting dubai um that i think you should have on your phone someone actually commented on one of my moving to dubai videos asking if i could recommend some apps and i was like oh that's a really good video idea so thank you to whoever commented that also talking about youtube i hit 2000 subscribers uh maybe 
two or three weeks ago. If you were to ask anyone who is making videos on YouTube just how much it means when you get that notification to say someone subscribed to your channel, it just means the world because we know that people don't have to subscribe in order to watch our videos so when they do it's really 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 lovely but yeah anyway let's film this video and then we'll see what we get up to for the rest of it i just finished filming my app video and i was just talking and talking and talking and i was like this needs to become a mini series if anyone wants a part two because i had so many more apps to get through and i'd already been sat there for like over an hour so yeah but one thing i would say is you know I Dyson air wrapped my hair this morning and now look at it. I am still honestly in the exploring stage of getting the most out of that bit of kit. And I know people are probably thinking, well, you're just really bad at it, Katie, because you got it in February and it's now nearly June and you still haven't mastered how to use the machine. But today I actually tried it with having my hair washed last night and I thought I had enough dampness in my hair in order for the curl to stay, but it just doesn't. So lesson learned, I need to re-wet my hair if I have washed it last night. Anyway, my sister has just come back from Miami and she messaged me saying, hey girl, I'm in Sephora. Is there anything that you would like? The first two things that she picked up for me is two cleansers actually. The first one is the squalene cleanser and the second one is the glycolipid glycolipid cream cleanser and i haven't used the squalene one yet but i do use the squalene oil from the ordinary range so i'm excited to use that one but this one oh my goodness i've started using this already and it really is lovely then i also asked her to pick up two of the large size niacinamides this is the niacinamide 10 percent with one percent zinc and this is just gorgeous i use this probably around three to four times a week after i have done all of my evening skin routine and i'll pop this on and this does help keep my spots at bay i say it keeps my spots at bay but i actually don't go long enough to know whether my spots are at bay without it do you know what i mean but i'm not trying that and lastly from the ordinary she picked me up this aloe two percent and nag two percent which is a soothing serum for blemish prone skin. The consistency of it is like an oil. Mix that in with my moisturizer. So I'll put it all together in my hands, pop it on my face for my moisturizer, and then add my SPF on top. The other thing that is not easy to get your hands on is the iconic London range. So I have wanted the Illuminator drops for so long in the original color. I have actually got them on today. Don't know if you can see there's a bit of a glow to one's skin. I decide on the day how much glow I want sometimes i actually even add the illuminator in with my moisturizer and just kind of give it an all over glow sometimes by midday i'm like oh girl you're way too shiny looking but then other days i'm like oh you look sunken and then finally the last product i asked her to pick up is the moroccan oil hair treatment and i used this when i was so young i remember watching sammy from the beauty crush if anyone even remembers her as the beauty crush i know she is now known as just sammy maria but i remember she used to use this all the time on her hair and she just said it was amazing she has very different hair to me um but the way that she used to talk about it all the time i was like oh wow i need that in my life but oh my goodness me it is just such a gorgeous smell it's just such a good hair treatment i absolutely love it even when i finish doing my hair in the morning so i've got my curls in i'll always just get a little bit of this and just run it through my hair and make it feel really good um, i always add it to the end of my hair as well after i have um, dried my hair anyway that is a little haul for you so i'm now going to pick up bonnie and put her in a big tote bag and carry her over to my sisters yeah anyways peace and love what sorry sorry peace and love what am i on about peace and love i mean i love that i love what that stands for peace and love but like who do i think i am as well peace and love <laughs> or maybe it could be a new thing it's not a new thing <laughs> so many people have said it before i feel weird saying that even though like i love peace and love and okay bye and just i'm literally just what am i i just need to go i just need to go i just hang up Pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I 
could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if we want to. That's cool. I did what I suppose.